It's now my pleasure to introduce to you Dr. Brent and Marianne Keeler. Brent and his wife Marianne were named this year's College of Natural Sciences Distinguished Alumni, an honor bestowed upon alumni who have distinguished themselves professionally, brought honor to the university, and have made significant contributions to the university and their community. Brent and Marianne met as undergraduates here at Colorado State University. Brent is a native and a uh, native Coloradoan and received his bachelor's degree in physical sciences in 1974. He earned his MD from the University of Colorado in 1977. He's a board certified OBGYN and has delivered more than 5,000 babies. That's the size of our incoming freshman class. <laughs> I don't know if they're all Brent's babies. I'm just saying that that's the same size. It's 5,000. Uh, Mary Ann earned her uh, bachelor's degree in biological sciences uh, the year prior, in 1973. She taught biology for a while and worked many years in Brent's women's clinic practice. As parents of two daughters with science undergraduate degrees, one a PhD in theoretical physics, Brent and Mary Ann are passionate about supporting women in the sciences. And it is because of their generosity we were able to establish the program Women in Natural Sciences. They have also established undergraduate scholarships in the college. Brent and Marianne truly believe in improving the future through higher education. They've encouraged others to give and are longtime supporters and advocates of the College of Natural Sciences and of CSU. Please join me in welcoming Marianne and Brent Keeler. This is so humbling, uh, especially with the students gathered in this audience. Brent and I met our freshman year at CSU. We took many classes together, and because we studied together, our grades were very similar. Brent was usually first in any class, and I was second. Except once, when Brent typed my paper in a microbiology class, and I got an A, and he got a B. <laughs> we worked summers. Brent mowed lawns, and I waited tables. We thought we were hard workers. We married and had two daughters. One was a biology major, and the other was a physics major. As a PhD candidate in physics, she became very involved <coughs> with the Women in Natural Science program at her institution. This struck us as a great idea. So we gave funds to the WINS program, W-I-N-S, Women in Natural Science program, that was already started at CSU. Last February, we heard Dr. Tony Frank speak. He was speaking about the role of land-grant universities in furthering the goal of enhancing access to higher education, especially for first-generation students. This got us to thinking. We decided to fund some scholarships at CSU in the sciences to honor Dr. Frank and his wife, Patty. This summer, Simone Klaassen sent us biographies of the recipients of these scholarships. We wish to thank Dean Nerger and her team for selecting the recipients. I read those bio biographies and then handed the papers to Brent with the statement that we are and were really slackers. <laughs> Brent read them and agreed with me. We thought we had worked hard, but these students really amazed us. I asked Dean Nerger if it was hard to choose the scholarship recipients, and her reply was, it was really hard. This meant that there were many, many qualified students that were facing some incredible obstacles to getting a college degree. One generation of Rams, in the best CSU tradition, support and encourages the next. Mr. Lincoln's state experiment, to quote Dr. Tony Frank, will not fail on our watch. <laughs> 